Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Daniel Zalhuber versus Esteban Rebovix. Daniel Zalhuber, 15-1, 4-1 in his last five fights. The one loss against Trey Ogden was able to get controlled, or was eight was controlled in that fight. Three fights in a row beat Lando Venata, beat Christos Yagos by Anaconda, Anaconda, and beat Francisco Prado, who I really thought was going to cause a lot of issues. And so Huber looked incredible in that fight. He's a minus 230 favorite, 25 years old, 6'1 with a 77 inch reach. Uh, Esteban Rebovix, 13 and 1, 4 and 1 as well in his last five fights. Lost to Loik Rezabayov, but looked really, really good in that third round. I really liked him in that third round. He's a plus 190 underdog, 28 years old, 5'10 with a 69 inch reach eight inch reach advantage for Daniel Zahuber with a two inch with that's actually what five eleven six foot six foot one so three inch reach advantage this one's interesting man I'm I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm struggling a bit with this one so strikes landing per minute 5.86 to 6.20 for Rebovix Accuracy is 41 to 52, absorbed 5.06 to 3.49, defense is 56 to 53, so uh, uh, so Hooper gets hit a lot, um, but he also has a lot of output. His accuracy is not great, so Rebovix is more accurate, has lands more, and his defense is better. It doesn't say it's better on the defense, which is weird because strikes absorbed is 5.06 to 3.49. So it's weird that his his stuff isn't better. It's kind of strange. Takedown average for 15 minutes is 0.22 to 0.93. Accuracy is 33 to 66. Takedown defense is 94, but was controlled by Trey Ogden. And 60% for Rebovix. They don't really go for submissions. Let's look at it. So Trey Ogden, pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. You know, Venata, oops, is a striker. Yagos is a striker. Uh, Prado, striker. Almeida, I believe, is also a striker. I'm pretty sure it's also a striker. McKinney, striker. Kirk, more of a grappler, I would say. Rizabayov is definitely more of a... He, he strikes, but he can also grapple. So, and none of those guys are very tall. That Rebovix has fought, I, I don't think any of those guys are anywhere close. McKinney is not, he's 5'10", five, five, yeah, 5'10", five, nailed that one, 73 and a half inch reach, so definitely had more of a reach. Kamalea Kirk is not that tall, 5'10", as well, which Kamalea Kirk looked awesome in that first round and then just kind of fell off a cliff. And then Luke Rizabayov is also 5'11", so he's not, you know, Six foot tall, six foot one, or anything like that. Five seven for uh, Thomas Paul. Um, I'm just looking around to see if I can find anybody that is the length. Five nine. Um, okay, cool. Come on, come on. I don't think there's anybody with that length before. Now every time Zell Huber has fought somebody, they've been shorter than him. I don't. He, again, he's six one. Is is Ogden 6'1", or 6 foot tall? No, he's 5'11". Yeah, he's 5'11". I, I remembered as soon as I, <laughs> I had said it. Okay, there's that. Lucas Almeida is definitely nowhere near that. Nowhere near that. Yeah, 5'11". He is not 6 foot 1. That is a wild thing. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yagos Prado is really, really short. You know, 5'10 for uh, Yagos. Again, it's so tough because, like, Zahuber has only fought shorter guys. You know, Reba Vix hasn't fought anybody with that height that Zahuber has. Ogden was able to use his defense against Zahuber, or use his defense, yeah, against Zahuber and win that fight. I like Reba Vix, man. I, I really, really like Reba Vix. But if he can't implement the grappling, I don't know how he wins because of the length. I'm picking Rebovix, but I'm worried about it. 
And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Leave your, leave your guys' prediction down there in the comment section. We will go back and forth on it. And as always, peace.